Hello everyone, Neil Tappin here from Golf Monthly and welcome to the London Club and this video which is all about shot tracking. So over the last year, I've been using Arcos. So I have sensors in the grips of each of my clubs and they pair up with an app that's on my phone and they track every shot that you hit while you're out on the golf course and then it creates a whole host of data that can be really useful, providing insights into where your strengths and where your weaknesses are while you're out on the golf course and then also giving you data about how far you hit each club in your bag. Now, I'm gonna look at the data that I've produced over the last year. So I've had 21 rounds of golf and I've hit 1,200 shots. And I'm gonna look at the data relating to the last 20 rounds that I've played, and I'm gonna highlight some of the key things in the data that are gonna hopefully help me, as I move into 2022, figure out where the big areas of improvement might be in my game. It's important to say that at the end of this video, I'll also talk a bit about the experience of using Arcos this year. So if you are interested, uh, wait for that part of the video as well. But let's get started now, looking at some of the key findings I've had from using shot tracking this year. Okay, so the first area to talk about is my biggest weakness in my game, which is around the greens. Arcos is telling me that my handicap, my short game handicap is 12.4, which given that my actual handicap index is 2.7 shows you that there is significant room for improvement there. Now I'll be honest and say to you, I don't need Arcos to tell me that this is the weakest part of my game, I already know that, but there are still some really interesting things within the data. Firstly, I, I know that actually my bunker play is pretty good. So my bunker play, I'm slightly better than the average three handicapper from sand. Where I really struggle is on shots like this one here. So inside 25 yards, I'm only averaging 15 feet from the flag from shots like this and I'm only getting the ball up and down 28% of the time so there is a big room for improvement for me in this part of my game but I think having the direction and knowing that it's these sorts of shots is important and then I can work out how I want to improve whether that be through lessons practice new clubs whatever it might be I have the knowledge to help me do that right I'm going to give this shot a go you'll get the chance to see just how good I am or otherwise from this sort of yardage That might not look too bad from the camera, but I've left that probably about 15 feet short. Okay, so the next one is about driving, and there have been a couple of interesting findings. Firstly, I knew that driving was a strength in my game. My strokes gained off the tee is 1.4 versus a three handicapper, so pleased with that. I'm hitting the fairway 50% of the time, which is pretty good, but probably, and this goes for a lot of the stats here, that the more interesting findings are when you're looking at things that you're not doing so well. And it turns out that I'm missing the fairway 25% to the right and 20% to the left. Now, it might be that if you were going through this process, that trend might be a little bit more skewed toward one side or the other. It might be that you're missing right 30 or 40% of the time, in which case that gives you A, something to work on and B, some information that can really help you build a strategy. So on a hole like this, when you've got bunkers down the right hand side, and let's say the wind was off the left and you didn't feel comfortable, maybe you come up with a different strategy to try and take those bunkers out of play. And the other interesting finding for me here is that I seem to be better off the tee the longer the hole is. So I'm plus 0.9 strokes gained for holes that are over 450 yards versus plus 0.1 on holes that are 350 yards and under, which I think suggests that when the tighter the hole is and maybe the less club I'm hitting off the tee, maybe I need to sort of focus a bit more, come up with a go-to shot that's a bit more reliable for me off the tee to help me improve that stat. So some food for thought there for me off the tee, but overall 2021, fairly happy with how I've done off the tee. So onto my approach play, which has been a pretty good area for me. So I'm overall strokes gained plus 0.8 when hitting approach shots into the green. Interestingly, I seem to be better in comparison to other three handicappers from further out. So I'm plus 0.8 from over 200 yards out, but actually I'm minus 0.6 from shots between 50 and 100 yards. So clearly something to work on there. Another interesting one for me, and this really chimes with me and things that I know about my game. So I, I hit 61% of greens in those 21 rounds of golf I played this year, which is great. And I'm really pleased about that. But by far, the most likely miss for me is short. Now that's down to one of two things, either ball striking not being quite good enough, or they're not clubbing up enough. 
And I think it's the latter as much as anything. I think I have a tendency to try and push my yardage a bit. I mean, Arcos tells you how far you hit every club in the bag while you're out on the golf course. So I've got a pretty good idea about how far I hit it. But I think often, all too, too often actually, I do push it a bit, knowing that it's right on the limit for me, you know, to reach this flag with an eight iron. I'm not great at hitting softer shots, so I'll tend to try and hit the all out eight. So maybe that causes either a poor strike or I come up short, but either way, it's something to think about. And perhaps in 2022, I need to just commit to taking that extra club and maybe swinging a bit easier. Maybe it's something for me to focus on in practice. Either way, it's given me some interesting feedback, something to work on. Okay, so another area for improvement is actually on the putting green. And uh, I'm currently giving away 1.3 shots per round when I'm putting. So there is room for improvement. And the big number, the overall number that I'd want to improve is my putts per round statistic, which is currently, I'm averaging 35, which isn't great. I mean, there's a caveat there in that I know that I'm hitting quite a few greens in regulation, so I'm not likely to have brilliant putting stats. But having said that, there's definitely room for improvement here, particularly when I delve into the data and see that I'm actually not bad on putts from inside 10 feet. Where I am struggling, I'm giving away four shots on putts between 25 and 50 feet. So it's my lag putting, it appears, see the data that I really need to improve. If I can improve that, then I should reduce the average number of three putts, I'm averaging two three putts per round. So if I can just get putts from this sort of distance a bit closer, then I should be able to score a little bit better. So there you have it, that's my look at some of the key findings I've had from having used shot tracking technology in 2021. But as I mentioned at the start of the video, I also wanted to touch on my experience of using Arcos in particular. And I'm gonna start by just explaining how it works. When you pull a club out of the bag, and you put it up to this angle, it kind of wakes up the sensor. And then you hit a shot, and that shot is heard on the microphone, either of your phone, which should be in your pocket, or your link. Uh, so Arcos do this thing called link that sits on your belt buckle, and that will hear the shot, and that will log it within the app. The thing is, if you're gonna use your phone, you can't have your phone in your bag, it has to be in your pocket. Ideally, it would be in this front pocket here. And if you are using the link on your belt buckle, then if you've got really heavy clothes that might be sitting over the top of it, that can affect the way in which it hears the different shots. So that's something to think about. But on the whole, I found that Arcos has picked up the shots that I've been hitting pretty well. There have been moments where it's missed shots and I've had to put them in after the rounds. And it's important to say that I did have a moment during the summer where quite a few of the sensors seemed to stop working at the same time. And I ended up having to repair the sensors to get it all working again. And after that happened, it, it was fine. So it hasn't been 100% seamless. There've been a few glitches, but it is a high tech piece of kit and you are in this big wide open natural landscape. So I think that's to be expected. And another area where you do have to do a little bit of manual work is on the putting green. Obviously it's a shorter shot, shorter swing, not making as much sound. So I've had to go in after my rounds often and just had to tweak the putting just to make sure it's as accurate as possible and it's picking up the right number of shots. Now for me, the way in which it has worked its best, Arcos, has been not through looking at my data from every single round, so not after the round pouring over the data, instead looking at it after a bigger stretch of time. So actually this process of looking at my data from the whole year and identifying the kind of major areas for improvement, that's really helpful. Less helpful, but quite, quite interesting to look at is after each round knowing, oh, I, I hit 10 greens in regulation today, or I missed the fairway less to the right than I do uh, normally. That's quite useful, but on the whole, for me, it's looking at the trends over a longer period of time. And then the last thing I'll say that I use more than I thought I would do is the GPS function within the app itself. So it gives you whole maps and it tells you your yardages as you play using the whole maps, which I found really helpful. Last few years, I've been relying on a laser range finder, which is great, but the, the whole maps are handy. And then once you have enough data, you also have something called Arcos Caddy, which will start to suggest to you certain strategies on certain holes that you might not otherwise have, have thought about. Now, I haven't used that a huge amount. And when I have used it, I have ignored it at times, but I've also gone with it at other times and it has helped me. So it's something that might help you if you feel like you need a bit of kind of 
strategic help and a bit of food for thought about how to get your ball around your home course. But that's it for now. That's my experience of having used Arcos in 2021. If you've used shot tracking uh, technology, please do leave some comments below. What was your experience? How has it helped you? Be interested to hear your thoughts. Uh, but that's it for now from the London Club. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time.